Hey everyone, you are now watching Braided Nikki, the beginner braiders plug for braid tutorials. So you know how to braid, but you're not sure what to do with those ends. Today I'll be showing you three easy ways to end your knotless box braids. For the first method, you will need a towel and you'll need a kettle. You'll need to braid the hair down to the very end. Watch me. If one of the three strands start to get thin, simply borrow a small piece of a bigger strand and place it together like so. Always be sure to braid the hair down all the way to the end for the best outcome. Once you've braided the hair down, you will see frizz. The solution is simple. Get quality sharp scissors, bring out the frizz, and cut them off. Take your time with this until you get used to it. Be careful not to cut your braid. I recommend cutting the front frizz and flipping the braid over to cut the back frizz. Watch me. Grab your kettle. Start by placing the end of the braid inside, then slowly raise the kettle up to the braid where your client or mannequin's hair ends. You only need to keep it in the water for five seconds. Once you've done that, you slowly place the kettle down from underneath your braids, down to the floor so that the braids can drip inside of your kettle and not on your flooring. Grab your towels and smooth the braids out gently. This technique gives you classic flowy braided ends. For the second method, I'll show you goddess curled ends. You'll need to measure where you want the curl to end from your braid. Watch how I measure. I found my sweet spot, so now I'm ready to install using my shine and jam to bring the curls back to life. Braid the hair down like before. I have my fingers placed like so. I'm using direction with my index finger. The curl is looped, so you want the loop to fall on top of the index finger. Wrap it around and have your thumb hold it into place. Continue to braid down.
Once you get to the very end of your straight braid, you simply collect a thin piece of curly hair and tie it like so. Do the trimming as before. The third method is the do-it-yourself curl with these amazing curlers. I'll show you how to pre-stretch the hair extensions in case you want to learn. I grab every single strand and pull them like so. This is very tedious, hence why I always recommend working with pre-stretched hair, which is packaged hair that already comes stretched. Brush the hair out with fingers or a brush, then begin the braid down again. Trim the frizz. You can grab five braids and do this all at once, but for the sake of this video, we will only use one. Grab your curler and measure where you want the curl to start. In comparison to my other curled end, I want the curl to start up here. So I start here and wrap in a downward motion, all the way down, watch me. Place the curl in the boiling hot water and do the same thing we did for method one. Pat the braid dry and unravel slowly in the same direction that the curl flows. And here you'll get beautiful sealed curls. I love all of them. Which is your favorite way to close your braided ends? Let me know in the comments below. If you learned something new in this video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. See you soon with another amazing braid tutorial. Bye!